Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, Jane Austen, the inspiration continues and it's all stemmed from a few things. First, I love Jane Austen. Second, I've just finished Jane Austen July where I've kind of done a little reading marathon to get myself back into writing, but also to uh, dedicate some time to my favorite author. And then thirdly, to utilize one of my favorite things, which are writing boxes. Um, these are very historically inspired, and I have two. Uh, both are very lovely and both uh, not used as often as I'd like. So this is a little challenge to myself to set one up as my next journal kit. But this is going to be with a Jane Austen twist. I am adding things in here that I think Jane Austen would use. So you're not going to see a lot of supplies for decorating. You're not going to see stickers. You're not going to see stamps. You're not going to see any sort of uh, accoutrements that a normal journaler in modern times would be using. I am using Jane Austen as the sole inspiration of if we had a look into her journal kit, what would she carry? And I'm just kind of using things that I have to build my little kit. Now, um, this is the box right here. Um, Sadly, the, the tripod's not high enough for me to show you the whole thing. It's more of like a you know square writing box. I do have one that's slightly larger, but I don't really have as much to really fill that larger one up, so I might use that larger one for a future journal kit video of a different twist. Um, it doesn't have a lock or anything, but it's got this kind of like uh, thing where you could put a lock on it if you want. And when it opens up, I have heard of some from several people that they have the same one too, and they love using it um, or having it. Um, and then it opens up to this main compartment here. And then if I spin to the side here, this lid actually has two slots that you can add papers. And this pulls out as well, so you can use that as an additional writing surface or as like a larger pocket for holding maybe a book. Um, so that is very cool and this kind of lays at an angle. And when you lay this down, this lays fully flat uh, against the table surface. So you can use that for writing. And then got different kinds of slots for things and then a little drawer right here and I've kind of set it up oh, similar to how I usually have it sitting in my desk anyway so really not much has changed except that I've added a couple things um, the only thing that won't fit into this kit is my bottle of Jane Austen ink by Diatrementis it's my favorite bottled ink ever it's a dark green color, very earthy, very beautiful. It's not waterproof, um, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's my favorite ink, um, and I've used it so many times. And sadly, it doesn't fit um, in this slot. Normally, in a lot of writing boxes, you're going to see a deep slot where actually the ink well sits. So this is, in, you know, vintage inspired, but it's not authentic. Um, Oh, it's my dream to own an antique writing box, and I've, uh, I'm on a search for one. If I can find one that's in pretty decent condition. They're also known as campaign boxes because you'd see a lot of uh, military personnel um, carry these large chests that turn into their own little desk setups. And that's, it would hold pretty much your whole world, all your business documents, all of your letter writing. And for a lot of those gentlemen who use those campaign boxes, when you opened one up, I mean, it was pretty much a glimpse into his personal life, his, his own world, because it had so many different types of things that were used during that time, personal effects. And they're, they're fascinating if you look at the history of them. 
So this sadly does not fit in here, so this will have to sit outside. And I've kind of added some things that kind of go with the vibe. Um, these really serve no purpose, these little pins, other than that they just look nice. And I've collected them throughout the years. I know lockets and things like that. I'm probably not super authentic. Like I said, I'm not going like pure, this is what Jane Austen used. I'm just going with uh, what I think she would. I have a kind of vintage -y letter opener here. A few seals that I can use right here. My traveler's notebook, brass pencil case, and I've got a pair of scissors. That's a charm. I just, I always kept it in there, so I just left it in there. And the only thing I don't have in here, I think, is a pencil. Now, I thought about pulling my Palomino pencil because that's my preferred pencil. Obviously, Jane Austen does not use Palominos or did not use Palominos because these weren't invented yet. Um, but I feel like I can make an exception because if she were alive today, I think Palominos would be her pencil of choice because they are very quality, very beautiful, very aesthetically pleasing. So that will go in here and if I'm not able to sit at my desk using my dip pens, which I will show you next, uh, and I'm kind of journaling on the go here and there, I'm going to be using my pencil. Um, I will have several dip pens in here. These are the three that I have chosen. These are my favorites. My beautiful, sleek um, one here. This one. Um, I might have posted the video already where I go through all my dip pens. Uh, this one creates a nice bold line. It's got like a black lacquer finish on it. And then my beautiful glass dip pen which I love writing with. And these three are probably ones that I've used the most out of all of the ones that I have, aside from my feather dip pen, which I might start pulling out again. I've used this so many times. So that'll be uh, a part of this too. In this drawer, I have my Open Owl knife, which I will, ooh, did I put the lock on it? Well, duh, there we are. We'll use to sharpen my pencil. I did think about putting a sharpener in here, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. So that will be used for my Palomino. I don't know what kind of watercolor brush to have in here, mostly because I can't find anything that would kind of go with it. I just threw this one in here for now. It's like the tiniest watercolor brush I could find. It's the Da Vinci 943. And I got this specifically so I could put this into um, a little watercolor kit and art journaling kit that I made with a tiny caboodles case. So I'm throwing that in there for now I, I might find a more nicer looking watercolor brush for that. And then I thought about some watercolors because, uh, you know, watercolors did exist back in the day. And I, you know, I don't have them in wooden pans, but I have them in the pans that they came in. So I have cadmium yellow. Um, I can't remember. Prussian blue, whatever the darkest blue, like it's like the one of the main ones. I can't remember the name of it. And then I have a gold and then a shimmery pearlescent white. And I will use those. I might add some more colors. I'm not sure. Originally, I had this whole thing where I was going to stick them in a tin, but then the tin didn't really go with the whole aesthetic. Yes, it's Prussian blue and cadmium yellow. So I might add some more colors from here, like amethyst and rhodonite. 
Is that how you pronounce it? Yellow okra. I might just add a few more of those just to kind of give myself a bit more so I can add some color to my pages and maybe do some art journaling. But that will sit nicely in there. And actually, if I don't have my bottle sitting there, I'd probably pop these up here for now. And then maybe I'll think about adding some more colors and then my dip pen's gonna safely sit here. Like that. And I'll just throw that in there for now. So that will sit there. I have a pair of these antique looking scissors or maybe cutting up various pieces of paper. I thought about adhesive. I don't know what kind of adhesive that they would have used aside from kind of like handmade kind of like paste um, made from I think they used to use like animal fats and various things to make glue. So I'm probably just going to use a glue stick and stick with that. I think I could be taking it too far and trying to be too authentic with it, but that's okay. It's my project, my little challenge to myself, and I'm going with it. I've got my wax here that I can use, and maybe I'll stick these in there too. So various colors, I have the red, gold, and I've got a dark green right here. So that will kind of act as my um, decorating, maybe, monocle, just for fun. I've had this, I made that um, for a long time, or a long time ago, and just kind of kept that there. Um, I have these paper clips, just kind of stuck those in there. I've I had this in here for the longest time. It's an egg-shaped rock. I love eggs. So I just added this in here because it just looks nice. Um, a little glass vial. And then matches for my wax. So that all sits right there. And then right here, I don't know if I can get you in frame. In this slot, I have blotting paper by J. Herbin more blotting paper. This is a larger sheet by J. Herbin, in case you want to see what that looks like. And then some nice note cards. It's got cream colored paper in this one. This is like a nice um, handmade kind of paper. So if I wanted to add that to my journal, I can. Just looks nice sitting on the side right here. And that's it. So that is my little Jane Austen writing box inspired journal kit. Oh, you know what? I could probably add this one right here. This is like handmade paper. I love handmade paper cards and letter writing sets. This, I believe, was also a gift from my brother once um, when I was in middle school. Right around the time he was getting me all this cool stuff. And that will sit in the little case right here. I'm not sure how long I'll stay in this kit. Could be a few weeks, could be a month, could be longer than that, could be less. I don't know. But right now I'm really inspired to just kind of get into basic journaling. Um, I did think about all the photos that I want to print out and journal with. Um, that goes into a separate journal that hasn't gone into my main writing one. So I guess I could bend the rules for that and just, you know, get those into a scrap therapy journal that I have yet to uh, fill up. So that will be how I'll handle my photos. 
but I'm not being too strict with myself with this little challenge. I just thought it would be kind of fun that most of my main writing tools will kind of be housed in this little kit. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope this was at all interesting. Thank you so much for watching.